Sony and Nixie Software are the guys behind the PC port of Forbidden West and they are setting bars so high. We might need a ladder soon. At this point I pretty much trust Nixies with any PC port they offer us and with them bringing other big PlayStation hits like Ghost of Tsushima and God of War Ragnarok to PC in the foreseeable future, we sure have something to look forward to. Now there was a somewhat rocky start that the previous game Horizon Zero Dawn had on PC when it released and it's great to see that they took everything they learned from that launch and made sure to make the launch experience as smooth and polished as possible for Forbidden West, which is probably why the reviews are nearing the overwhelmingly positive status. There is something a lot of PC gamers can agree on, which is that often when you're playing a PC port, it feels half-assed, like they're doing the bare minimum to get it running on PC. And that's often about it. It's not rare either that you have to wait months after release until the game is playable in the way that it's supposed or expected that to be. This game, on the other hand, feels like it was always meant to be played on a high-end PC setup, with every graphical detail and texture popping in a way that the PS5 version simply can't match, not in frame rate and also not in graphical fidelity. When you're playing on a top tier setup, the difference is very significant and noticeable, especially if you have a proper screen that can display all the details properly. Now I don't have to keep telling you how great this looks. What you're seeing in the background should be a powerful enough demonstration. But what you may not immediately notice without a side by side comparison is the thankfully added option to adjust your field of view. This is often an issue in games for years even now in 2024. Some developers just refuse to add this very essential feature, which more often than not can lead to increased negative reviews, which is really unfortunate and easily avoidable. You just see more of the game world and your immediate surroundings, especially in this game. It feels much more immersive. Otherwise there's also mouse and keyboard control and it's really well implemented. It's completely customizable, so you can change every key binding, which you would think should be the standard, but it really isn't these days. There's also always a second option, so you can assign a function to two keys, which makes this whole thing very flexible. You can also freely use and assign the side mouse buttons. Yes, this too should be the standard, but I have had quite a few games in the past year where this surprisingly wasn't an option. Some of them even AAA titles. There are two minor things though that some players could be disappointed to find out didn't improve much or at all from the PS5 version. First of all, there is no ray tracing. Now this game is already incredibly stunning without it, so I'm sure you will barely miss it here. But in some places, ray traced reflections would have added an even stronger wow effect. Also, the level of detail hasn't been adjusted much compared to the PlayStation 5 version, as far as I've seen at least, so you still have some details popping in at a distance for certain small level details, and you can't really push it much further. Fog is also used quite a bit in this game, so you don't notice the decreasing level of detail in the distance. The viewing distance is comparatively very good here still. But for this game I think, it would have been great to give an option to increase it even further if one has a PC that can handle it. And given by how good this game runs even without DLSS, I'm sure quite a few PCs out there could handle it just fine with DLSS set to balanced or quality mode. But that's not really even a complaint, just a note or a heads up. Whether you like the game itself or not, the nearly flawless Forbidden West port sets a very good and important example here, showing us and the industry that it's totally possible to crank out awesome graphics and cutting edge technology and still have the game run like butter, assuming your PC has the requirements. It's so disappointing when you think about all the other games lately that just haven't lived up to this. It's the games not being polished enough, not my setup not being good enough. So let's say you have a decent PC and want a ridiculously gorgeous looking open world game, where you can easily put 60 hours into and you don't mind that the story perhaps isn't all that serious and captivating anymore, then consider getting this now or sometime in the future, which should help show Sony and Nixies that there is indeed a profitable market here on PC and it's worth taking the time to make great ports. The thing I mentioned about the story not being quite up to Horizon Zero Dawn is very subjective though and it's still very enjoyable. It's by no means a bad story. So don't let that discourage you. Let us know what your experience or opinion is about this game. Discussing these things is very important, as positive word of mouth is a very powerful tool to contribute to something. A like is also a welcome sight. If this video was useful, 